I think people do enjoy the idea, uh, the myth of a guy like McCall that exists. I think he was always, for me and Richard, a dark angel, right? He was the angel that we all wish we had that would come down and serve justice to people who deserve it, you know? Um, I think that's important to do. I think that's important even more today, you know, in, in the environment we live in today. I think people are feeling uh, more injustice um, today. Um, uh, they're feeling like outsiders and they have no control over their lives. And uh, we all wish we had a McCall that could swoop in and put us on the right path, you know? In the beginning of Equalizer 2, we find McCall driving a, a lift. He's a, he's a lift driver. And the reason he's a lift driver is because he's trying to connect with people. And, and as a driver, a lot of times they're invisible. You know, most of us get in the back of cars and people say things and do things as if the driver doesn't exist, like he can't hear anything. And he can hear people, he can hear their problems, he's in a position to help them possibly. Um, so that kind of job we see he, he's in. But what you find is he's, he's trying to connect with society more. And he's opened up a little bit more. And he seems to uh, have a little more personality in this one um, uh, than the first one. Well, it, it starts off in Turkey uh, on a train, and you feel the scope of the film. The, it, it certainly has an epic feel. Um, and then it returns to Boston. Uh, but the events that are taking place leads us to Brussels. Um, but even with that scope and even with that international feel, it still feels very intimate like the first one because we wanted to contain that intimacy because it's really about the characters and about the relationship with the characters. Most of us, if there's a car crash or something shocks us, our body locks up, we panic. For guys like that, everything calms down. The heart slows down. The vision gets sharper. They become more aware of everything in the room. They start to see, assess the threat quickly. So Equalizer Vision is really all about how men of violence will assess a moment in a room. What's Denzel's greatest strength and what does he bring? Everything. He brings everything. Uh, there's no greatest strength like to Denzel. It really isn't. We talked earlier about whether or not I went to see Iceman Cometh on the play uh, on Broadway. I'm always fascinated when I'm watching Denzel do his work. He just constantly ups himself. And I think uh, Denzel just is always looking to be better. He's always looking to be better. Um, you think someone like him would you know, relax a little bit. He's Denzel Washington. But he doesn't behave like that. And Denzel will be the first person to say to you, I'm not a movie star, I'm an actor. I think the audience will be surprised. There's some good plot twists that you won't see coming. I think the audience will be moved emotionally more than you would in an, in an action movie. And I think they're going to have a lot of fun with the action. A lot of fun.